Today I want to show you how to get the Raspberry Pi running in this um, DIN rail box. You need a Raspberry Pi SD card, your DIN rail box, two wires, a 5 volt uh, DIN rail transformator, and of course your electrical box where the DIN rail is attached. At first make sure that the power supply is off so you can safely do your things. The wiring of the Pi is as follows. The red, you need a red jumper cable that you put into the 5 volt power supply. It's, it's the second GPIO pin on the right side and um, Next to it, there's the ground. So these are the two wires. And put it into the DIN rail box. Here you see the box. The Raspberry Pi has to go through this way. And you have to put these wires through the hole in the bottom. As follows. Once your pie fits the case, add the back side and snap it. That's how the pie looks like. And now clip it into the rail case. Now it fits. And next, we have to connect the 5 volt power supply. We have DC plus and minus. Minus has to be the ground, so the black cable. And L and N are the high voltage. And for a practical reason, this is the N bar. And here I will extract my L. Um, for practical reasons I will hold this thing upside down because on the top side I get the brown and blue cable and on the bottom side I get the DC voltage. So I clip it into place. Now it's there, and now I have to cut my jumper wires to the correct size, such that I can insert them into these holes. You can use cable pliers to make uh, to un isolate these things. For the high current, you use a blue one. A blue cable for the N and the brown cable for L, which you then insert into uh, these bars. Once you attach the cables, you clip them to the right size. So the blue one ends here. And the brown one ends here. Now unisolate the ends and screw them in place. After everything is connected, don't forget to let your electrician check if everything is correct and then power it on. Don't ever touch a brown cable. So, DC OK. And there we see the lamp of our Pi is blinking. And now let's check if it has connected to the Wi-Fi and if we can log in via SSH. 
And I finally got it. I um, lock it into my Raspberry Pi on the DIN rail. And yeah, now what I have to do is to read out the Wi Fi MAC address and add it to my router that my Raspberry Pi gets a static IP address so I can address it. Yeah. Last step is to add your um, Raspberry to your host file. So I edit .ssh and hosts so my ssh config and after doing that I can do ssh copy id to dinrail insert your password the last time and now you can ssh into dinrail and you are on your Raspberry Pi that is attached to the DIN rail. That's it for today. The last thing that we now have to do is to close it. Also, again, don't forget to turn off the power when you attach something to the construction. Now finally I'm closing uh, the empty spaces and now I can power it on again. Now you see the Raspberry Pi is booting again and there we have our stationary Raspberry Pi. So that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video and don't do this alone. Always ask an electrician to double check your work before you ever power it.